Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it, and of course, for those that don't, happy holidays. Today we're going to be using Expanding Force Alakazam. Shout out to Gene for the team. You guys can get it from my website, pokeunity.com, but it's really nice with Tapu Lele, as obviously Expanding Force is an incredibly powerful move. In fact, had Lele actually received Expanding Force, it more than likely would have been auto banned. Same thing with Rising Voltage, Coco, and uh, things like Grassy Glide, Bulu. Though I think Bulu would have been just high tier like Rillaboom is, but the other two I think would have been too much. So uh, yeah, let's just look for a battle. We also have Psychic Terrain on our Slowbro, so we can actually avoid priority, but also just have more turns of Psychic Terrain, because it's Choice Specs Lele. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Code Aim is also 30% off, so if you guys want to pick up some G Fuel, feel free to. The link is down below. You help me out by picking up some, because your boy's on his way to getting a shaker. I'm about 63% of the way towards my own shaker. Uh, it's 30% off. It's a caffeinated product, so be careful. Oh god, rain. Uh, it's a caffeinated product, so obviously be careful about how much you're taking in. If you're a kid, it's not for you. However, they do have a hydration formula, which is my personal favorite, strawberry lemonade. I actually have some right here. And um, it's really good. And no caffeine, no sugar, no calories. So, uh, hit a focus blast versus you, I'm good. Like, that's basically it. Hit a focus blast versus this, and then an expanding force everything else. Uh, the fact that I get up Psychic Terrain here is going to be pretty big. I got to be very careful about Azu because when I used this team, it was banded. But I just lost the other day to um, a Belly Drum one because I played like it was banded. So Lele's a fantastic lead because they have basically two things that take hits. They have Feral Thorn and... I mean, Zathos does eat a hit, yes, but it doesn't appreciate it. And in fact, if Feral Thorn comes in, I can knock it immediately, uh, which will go a long way. So we're just going to click Psychic here. All of Zapdos' moves are inaccurate or not that good. Like, Weather Ball at neutral is... It's not like it's a Psychic Weather Ball. I don't resist that anyway. So, Psychic is just a fantastic play here. As they go Feral Thorn. And, um... I get some decent damage off on it. I'm really just gonna try and knock it. If I can. Even though... Because Barrescute is covered by, uh... By Slowbro as well. So, I'm gonna attempt to knock right here. Awesome. So, that means every bit of damage I get on this Feral Thorn is going to... It's gonna matter. It's definitely going to matter. Um, them getting up hazards are annoying. I want a hazard just so Garchomp can't come in, but I'm going to I'm gonna end up defogging anyway, as like Pelipper eventually comes in too. I'm just hazarding just for things like Garchomp. I don't mind me getting knocked there either. Uh, I'm just trying to remember if this is Gyro Ball. I believe it is. So um, I don't really care about taking these hazards. I do have Terrain Extender on Slurbo though, so I'm not the exact same set that I want to be. Um, but we have Feral Thorn nice and weak in there. Now, I know that my Toekus can tank one hit. I'm actually... I got the hazard there just for this in particular, but uh, what I'm gonna do here is first Air Slash once, so that way it's in range of Psychic, and then Defog. I don't know if they'll go Zapdos Raw, the fact that they have no rain up. They may try and make the Pelipper play there, um, but if I can get rid of Feral Thorn, uh, obviously... And this is great because now Ferrothorn's in range of Psychic and I can defog and get rid of the hazards. Obviously, Zapdos is a freaking threat and they're just going to U-turn out into it. But we'll defog here as Zapdos comes right out, getting rid of all their hard-earned hazards. And uh, their Ferrothorn no longer has a way of coming in on Psychic. So obviously, Thunder is coming out. Weather Ball, I <laughs> don't really switch into this Pokemon. Hurricane is free too. Um, so definitely a giant threat that I need to play around here. Um... Did they Hurricane first or Weather Ball? I think Hurricane is the safest play as it gets them the most out of the turn. Uh, I want to get up Rocks with Crocodile on this thing instead of hitting them. Yeah, I don't think hitting them is going to give me too much of a, a difference. But basically, I want to do that so I can get a kill with Psychic right after. So I'm going to attempt to get up Rocks here. That way, Ferrothorn guaranteed dies and the chip on Pelipper and all that stuff. But that's not what ends up happening there. I shouldn't die to any attack they go for. And I think uh, Psychic knocks them out. So I'm just going to click it as they go Ferrothorn. Uh, again, I wanted these rocks up, wear down Barrascuta, wear down basically everything on their team. Um, because Zapdos is going to be a threat, but I'm going to beat it with Expanding Force. Uh, so that's like the, or that's the main way I plan on beating it. Obviously, Barrascuta is going to come out and get some chip off on uh, Feral Thorn by going for uh, Flip Turn. I really, see, rocks would have been really nice here because, uh, again, just wearing down Barrascuta even more. Um, and just potentially letting me eat a hit. That's the big thing as well. Now, I know that their Garchomp is Swords Dance, Scale Shot, with, like, Stone Edge as well. So, I have to be very careful. Uh, but Expanding Force should be enough to knock it out with a Spike. And I think I eat one hit from Zapdos. So, I want to be... 
I, I think I should live a hurricane even from offensive Zapdos. So maybe I'll be able to at least get up a spike here. They do go Garchomp though. Attempting to more than likely sweep me. I'm gonna just get off some power up damage. I know I needed this thing for potentially Barrasquito, but the power up damage is awesome because it allows me to uh, get a kill 100% right now. It allows me to get a kill 100% right now with Alakazam. So we just click Expanding Force, and this is a kill. That's it. That's a kill. And Zam kills everything. It should be able to kill uh, Zapdos, if I'm not mistaken, or very close. Um, I have Toekiss, which is a sack for Barrasquita. Depending, or a, a sack to Zapdos, depending. Uh, and Zam should also be able to kill like things like um, the Azumarill, or very close. Uh, and if they want to go out into their Pelipper, I just got to be careful about the rain turns. But yeah, if I don't kill if I don't kill the Articuno without um, expanding for or kill is like a very strong word, knockout, <laughs> KO, whatever, man, they'll take it. <laughs> whatever, man, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, if I don't not if I don't end up knocking it out, obviously it'd suck. But I don't think it's the end of the world. I believe I just sacked Tonga Kiss when they bring out this. So um, right now they either have to go out into their Barrasquita, which forces them to go out into Pelipper, so it's a, which gives me a teleport, so it's like an odd play anyway, or they go Pelipper immediately and throw it away to an expanding force, which I'm hoping is the case. And it should still die, I think, at 57, and if it doesn't, again, me not being able to get a rocks, it all hurts me at the end of the day. So they go Pelipper here, throw off an expanding force, we do end up knocking out Pelipper, so not being able to get a rocks didn't matter, and they have a bunch of turns of rain, but it's like what I said before. I get Slowbro in here. Get Slowbro in there. Zapdos comes out. I throw away Togekiss to Zapdos. Oh, it actually wastes two turns of rain. That's awesome. That's that. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better too. Because as long as I have, um, well, I guess they could technically crunch me, so it, it could be annoying. Spec Psychic here as they go for a confusion. They do get it. Ah, man. Extremely unlucky for me. Both times, both times, extremely unlucky. Another expanding force comes out. So I get a kill right here with expanding force. They're probably going to sack Azu to bring out Barrasquita to, to... I can still beat, I can still beat the Zapdos if I dodge. So actually I would like if they sack Azu to bring out Barrasquita to flip turn instead of crunch. Maybe they'll have Crunch, maybe they're Ice Fang. But, yeah. You know, killing Zapdos would have been cool there. Obviously. Um, but, such is life. My friend? It's a pretty, pretty textbook win for you. I guess you could throw it away, if anything. They could throw away Barrasquita here, that'd be amazing. Right, go ahead and misclick. Let me, let me see if I can... See if I can move them. It's a misclick right there. I was just, I'm using my mind, but I'm also using my mouse. It's hard click. It's hard click. Look, you see that Barrasquita flashing? Come on. Show me Barrasquita. No? My friend? <laughs> I watch him be like Joey? <laughs> right now. After that. I guess they're trying to decide um, what's better to take. Is it is it Barrasquita into Azu or is it um, just raw Barrasquita? And the rocks may have mattered too because I could t I could have two KO'd Barrasquita with Scald. I don't think I do anymore. But I guess if I burn it, it doesn't matter, right? All right, so they give me Zapdos there to expanding force. Nice. They go Barrasquita. I bring out Slowbro as they flip turn. They're banded. Yeah, so uh, teleport was the play there, but if they were belly, I, I didn't kill them anyway. Uh, so good game. Yeah, so unfortunate. But that is the game we play. Um, just having more Pokemon would make a difference in that scenario, right? Because I kill, I, I, I KO the, uh, I, I KO the Zapdos. And then I'm able to bring out Slowbro on the flip turn and then just, you know, click Psychic again and get a kill. But 
this person looks pretty pretty expanded by Alakazam. So, I mean, even though they have Latios and stuff, and I have Dazzling Gleam, and I have Focus Blast, I have no idea how much I do to Blissey. But it looks like I Spike Stack on them too, or attempt to. They do have T-Spike, which are very annoying. Um, Lele, if it hits attacks, it's phenomenal in this game as well. I love knocking with Feral Thorn too. I think I'm going to use it because I go like Corviknight or Magirna early, and if I can knock even Magirna's item, that can help me out. Um, in like Lele late, late gaming, so I'm gonna try and do that and go for an end game of Lele plus Zam. Yeah, so oh, what is their full set? Is it, is it just an auto loss immediately? <laughs> is is this how it ends? Find out. I gotta know, but I know that knocking their leftovers and at least doing this helps me out. I'm gonna see if I can Thunder Wave them too. So we can Thunder Wave, perfect, they're nice and paralyzed. Draining Kisses, whatever. I get Leech Seed as well, Recovery, they don't have anything there. Uh, I can play off them getting fully paralyzed as well to just Air Slash flinch them 1v1. Okay, here it is. So, at this point I just go for this. Um, and I have Earthquake from Crocodile, so I'm not worried. But yeah, because the the fact that they're paralyzed, 60%. I have all this. Um, this is probably like the best case scenario. This is the main mod I was worried about in terms of offensive. Obviously, it's not beaten once. I know that I'm going to get really close and they're just going to get all the health back. But they can also get fully paralyzed too. So, yep, what I say? I knew I was going to get really close and they're going to get all the health back. But, um, close enough, right? Not really. That's kind of how it works. It's like since just Gen 5, I swear, I've lost a Latias 1v1 with Body Slam Jirachi. Same thing with Arenaclus as well. Like, I've lost to them 1v1. And this is not like a switch I want to make. I want to keep Lele low for Crocodile to eventually knock it out. The fact that I'm not missing is pretty cool, too. Yeah, there it is. All right, so uh, whether I force them out or not, I get to go Crook and I can click Earthquake. Uh, regardless of them going potentially Buzzwool here or Corviknight or whatever. Um, that's not a play that truly hurts me, I feel. Especially because it's just going to go for U-turn here. A little bit of chip, that's good for plus two expanding force. Magirna, and I'll do the exact same thing and go Slowbro and teleport this time into Crocodile. Uh, because of the items already not. I, I probably could have done that too. But I thought the Thunder Waving made more sense to beat it 1v1. Or at least potentially beat a 1v1. There's Buzzwool. Gonna spike up first as they go for that. Um, bulk Up doesn't usually run Leech Life or Lunge. But if I'm fighting the one dude that has that, I'm gonna be very sad. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm gonna be very sad if my dude has Leech Life right now. Anyway, in theory, I just teleport here. As they bring out Lottie. Crook and Knock gives me something out of the turn. Uh, Lottie can't kill me with Scarf Draco. I've been in this experience in like Gen 7 UU a ton of times. If I knock off their item, better for me. If I knock off Buzzwell's boots or whatever, better for me as well. Because Spike actually gets to do something. Knock off Leftovers on Corviknight, better for me. All of it helps me out. And the fact that they gave me Lottie is amazing. Because this Expanding Force, guys, this is the Expanding Force game. This is 100% the Expanding Force game. Teleport! Ooh, so I want to focus blast here, but I gain, I don't have to. I basically don't have to. I'm going to Psy Shock. Like, I don't have to predict Corviknight because I don't consider Corviknight the, a threat to my team. At the end of the day, I can Skull Burn it. Um, this is Spec Psy Shock. It's going to do a lot to Blissey. Hell yeah. And I'll click it again because I don't care. I don't have to predict here. I don't feel the need to. Again, with Latias being gone, the second I collect Nasty Fly, everything dies to Expanding Force. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. So what I want to do here is actually... Yeah, actually. <laughs> is actually um, get up Psychic Terrain with uh, Slowbro instead, I feel, because I have the Terrain Extender. So I get more out of it. They should always go Corviknight here, but... Um, oh, they give me Buzzle. I'm, and I'm actually sad about this because this is the mod like, I teleport on into the Lele Le Le and get a kill. So I'm a little bit sad they gave me that. Gonna go hard Crocodile because uh, they won't be able to knock me out. Awesome. Uh, 
I don't have to predict, like I said, I don't feel the need to predict Corviknight. I simply go slow bro now and, and, and teleport. If they defog, okay. If they U-turn into Blissey, I'm good. If they go Magirna, they take a hit. And this is where I get to bring out the Choice Specs Lily. I wonder how much Psychic does. I don't want to find out. I'm, I'm talking about the Corviknight. I, I, the Blissey, I wasn't 100% sure I killed either. But, ooh, good damage, big damage, big damage. I'm going to go for one, like, spend that drop slash crit that turn. As that is very free. Same situation, always get to teleport. Um, it doesn't allow Blissey to stay in, and this gives me a knockoff as well, which is pretty cool. So I can go and Crook. Um, knock off. Get rid of your boots, apparently, which is not what I expected. And Ferrothorn is the switch that doesn't let Blissey heal for free. Nice. I'm going to Leech Seed you, because this doesn't do anything for me. Cool. And now that they're on a timer, I can spam Psychic. <laughs> Ooh, that's even worse for them. So, hell yeah. <laughs> that is way worse for them. Go ahead and die right here. Don't lose before I get to bring out Zam. How much does this do? No, they lost before I got to bring out Zam. Damn it. This is like the, the flapple all over again. I'm trying to expanding force on somebody with my Alakazam, and they're just not letting me. They are just not letting me. Yo, it's so cool, guys. Like, we're, like, like I said, it's like 62%-ish, 63%-ish towards, like, my own shaker, which is sick. I have my own product out there. Okay, Zam looking kind of nice. That looks like a dark type, but it's not. Um, so, Expanding Force looks amazing. Zam is just faster than uh, Cinderace as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I have to go Crocodile as a lead, and the main reason I'm saying this is because Needle King gets a kill versus me. And Cinderace is more likely as a lead because of how good Lele is versus my opponent. The other option is, of course, Melmetal, which is a very big threat. But ideally, it's like Assault Vest with no recovery, and then Feral Thorn does enough. So Crook gives me the best versus those. Um, me having Moxie means that Zapdos doesn't smack me as well. I guess they could go for U-Turn. Um, huh. Them bringing out Nido King is so annoying. It's going to happen, and I can't stop it if they're U-Turn. Okay, they went for Sub. Which I wonder if this is worse. Sub bulk up two attacks, right? Let's teleport here into Zam and uh, get some damage off on Melmetal. I could click the uh, I could click the the what's it called the Focus Blast now on Melmetal, but I'm gonna miss and I don't want to lose something out of the turn. Plus, it's not worth the prediction if I if they stay in with Zapdos like a crazy. Oh, that is so much. I didn't have to predict. That's awesome. I have Slowbro as a pivot. If they go for Thunder Punch, I go Feral Thorn. Nice, and we just always teleport around because it gives them. This is why Slowbro great, man. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna click Psychic Terrain, but this Slowbro great. That Slowbro great. And as I mentioned before, their Psychic Resist is pretty bad. So, click that Spec Psychic right now. 100% on Moltres gone. <laughs> Yo! And Slowbro and teleport. Ooh, banded. I see. Ah, okay. Well, considering how Ferrothorn loses to every member on their team, and including probably their Feedy, I would much rather give me uh, some damage on them, if possible. Yeah, just knock here. I mean, go ahead and uh, throw away your your mon that that I that I am very weak to. I'll take it. Go ahead and throw it away. That's fine. So because I want to get up Psychic Terrain for Cinderace, I'm going to go out into uh, my Lele here, and we're going to click Psychic one more time. Uh, because I want uh, I want to avoid Sucker Punch is what I'm trying to say with that. So even if they go for like U-Turn or whatever, Needle King on faster than Zapdos, I live a hit from at full. Um, Feeny takes a ton. Though it is a big threat. Don't get me wrong. Feeny is a threat. I think I Psychic. <laughs> I love when my opponent takes damage, but that I didn't even hit, like give them. So this is great. Like they, they don't beat with Calm Mind. They don't get enough damage off with Draining Kiss as well. 
Even if they get a special attack drop, which would be annoying at worst. Like, expanding force is looking great. Specs lane is amazing. Ah, uh, there's the Cinderace. Let out the Togekiss, I sack. Air Slash as they gunk shot me. They were Life Orb too. Wow. And I'm going to win the game right now with uh, Alakazam. So I'm just going to go hard, Lele. Sack it to Pyro Ball. The only thing they could do is click Sucker Punch, but if they do, I can click Dazzling Gleam after, and I'm faster. So um, we click Expanding Force here. If they want to waste a turn of terrain, sure. But at this point, Expanding Force just sweeps. Even if they're Scarf Needle King, that shouldn't kill me. And finally, leave a like, guys, with the expanding force that I finally got, what, 20 minutes in? That I wanted so long ago, but hey, expanding force, man, that's what I like to see. And that's why, like, there was no reason to predict the Zapdos, because uh, you might be like, oh, man, it's a flex play. First off, it could have been Chopper Bird, though we knew it was Bandit, but it could have been. Second, or Assault Vest, or I could have dodged. Secondly, what if the Zapdos user was crazy, like, hmm, I have some spin on this. I'm going to live a Psy Shock. I'm going to assume that you have Psy Shock and not Psychic on your Alakazam, you know, so it's not like, it's, it's just, it was not a risk worth taking, they have no immunity, why would I not click the move? Just trying to explain that for people. Um, very similar, uh, Lele comes in and gets a kill, so it's a beautiful Pokemon here. Uh, Thunder Wave is also a beautiful Pokemon. <laughs> um, in terms of how I need to play this, I got to be very careful around Curum. Kurum is annoying. Uh, I have no idea what the Dragonite wants to do, but Specs Lele is beautiful in this game. Uh, Rillaboom is the only thing that can stop it, but like uh, Alakazam is really strong too, just nasty plot in general. Uh, I'm not really liking Tech Terrain as much. I feel like I'm not clicking it on Slowbro, but it might make a, like, a difference later on. So Lele because Kurum is a giant threat, but I expect him to lead Rillaboom anyway. Um, but Lele just matches up well versus everything. Doesn't die to one hit besides Rillaboom, and I have uh, two decent switches to that Pokemon. Yep. And I can make the one play of Feral Thorn because whatever the U-turn out into, yeah, as expected, uh, it doesn't kill me besides, I guess, that Mon. Now, if I'm the opponent, I double out into Kyurem here to uh, to catch the slow bro. So I'm, I'm going to go Lele. Yep. Because Lele is a good mid-ground. Um, it would take a flamethrower or whatever, and it lets me have control of the terrain and also threaten a Pokemon right now with a Spec Psychic. Uh, we go for that over Ice Beam. It is a speed tie at worst, um, but because Moonblast is kind of likely, I would love for them to potentially throw away Moltres. This gives me hazards and control of the game. As they go for Ice Beam there, and I don't want to risk a speed tie this turn. That turn it was okay, um, but I don't need to risk speed tie this turn because I can just bring out Slowbro on the next Specs Ice Beam. Don't freeze, so I have to go for Scald and then teleport out. And Teleport gives me, um, I think Alakazam, right? I feel like Expanding Force is just really strong. I think it'd be Thunder Wave or Knock Off. Maybe this was the wrong play. But I'm, I'm, I just want to gauge damage. Like, if I do 100% here, I'd be very happy. Oh, I did a lot to that Mon, too. So, uh, Feral Thorn for sure on this Pokemon. Because Misty Terrain is up, I can afford to knock once. I'm gonna knock again because I'm gonna pretend I can't touch them. And uh, I wanna take advantage of their Misty Terrain and hit something like uh, Moltres or whatever they have coming in. Heavy Duty Boots on their Clef, which leads it to believe it's unaware. Or just Boots in general. Yo, that did so much. Okay, there's Spadef, but whatever. I'm gonna get up my Spike and that Kiro ain't coming in. Not for free, anyway. Not for free. Ah, uh, go ahead and defog on me, buddy. As I bring out my slow bro and can teleport again. Thank you very much. Rillaboom comes out, and at that point, Kiram is at 15. It's looking pretty decent for Togekiss. Not gonna be not gonna lie, it's looking alright for Togekiss here. You just click air slash. They don't have a flying resist. Feeny comes out is whatever. Click air slash again. Don't want to allow Kiram in on a double because Feral Thorn is very easy. Don't care too much about Moltres either. Uh, Dragonite comes out, which is a Pokemon I technically beat 1v1 too. Though I will attempt to Thunder Wave them. Nice. And we're going to try to flinch them unless they're DPP inner focus Dragonite. We should be in a good spot. I'm also Fizz Def. And my dude forfeits. A nice little 6-0 right there. That's cool. 
Um, so I just made some calls in that game based on the fact that my opponent had some points. Their team looked solid and the plays I would have made if I was in their spot. So I just tried to uh, be in control without giving up too much. Um, so like medium risk, like you know, high reward type of things. Not like high risk there because it was, wasn't really necessary, uh, I felt. But um, yeah, just... <laughs> Oh my god, I lose to Volcarona. <laughs> nice! Um, okay, so in theory, I lose to Volcarona. In practice, I lose to Volcarona. <laughs> in play, I lose to Volcarona. But Lele may be able to help me. Uh, I... <sighs> Heavy duty boots, man. Togekiss might be able to Thunder Wave Volk, and then Lele can... Le Lele can live a plus one hit and then threaten a back with Psy Shock. I don't know if it kills... If it's Bulky Volk, it doesn't kill. Then again, if it's Bulky Volk, it might not be faster than Crocodile. It's probably Scarf Lando, Rock's Heatran. Uh, that's a deaf, crappy Hydreigon, though. It could be Nasty Plat, too. Uh, this is going to be tough because they have Terrain. If they didn't have Terrain, Zam just came in. I'm like, yo, I'm going to take every Pokemon. I'm like, yo, yeah, I know. Me too. What's up? Um, So, yeah. I'm debating on Lele just because if they actually go, I know they're going to go Landers. But one, I want to find out if it's Scarf Landers because I get to see Intimidate versus Psychic Terrain. But two, if they just decide to leave Volcarona, they might sweep me. <laughs> and usually I click Psychic here, but the issue with clicking Psychic here is that if I take damage, I will lose the Volk. So I'm going to go Feral Thorn as they Thunder Wave, and I'll just click Knock Off. It, I, I get a sticky barb, and unfortunately, I'm not able to knock their leftovers that turn. So that I do get uh, Heatran, though, ideally. Nice. I do get leftovers on Heatran. Now, my main switching is unfortunately slow. Bro. I'm saying unfortunately because they might be toxic plus, like, Magma Storm crap. I'm going to see if I can teleport, though. Sick. Okay, so. Uh, spike up for you. I'll get up a spike. If I can pressure at least, <laughs> if I can pressure the switch-ins, that'd be good. I mean, they missed that, but like I haven't been able to get off a spike or a knock on Clef, which actually matters when it comes to Toad Kiss. So we'll see. They may just rocked here. Okay, I'm a skull just in case they taunt. So this is good damage for Zam. I've lost my Slowbro unfortunately, but I mean it did pivot in on Landers, but I also have Toad Kiss. And now we bring you out. Dazzling Gloom kills you as well as killing Hydreigon. Uh, if they want to get greedy and go Hydreigon, that could be the play. But Expanding Force is for sure my play. Uh, why reveal my cards, you know? Not elusive Volcarona. Orlando, as it you turns out. This wasn't. This is their rocker, actually. This is their rocker for sure. Okay, maybe try and win with Alakazam before they... Huh. Okay. So Spike Up is cool for Rillaboom. It was cool. Alright, I'm just going to try and uh, go in with Zam. That's that's literally what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and go in with Zam as it goes. Maybe I should have knocked there actually for a little bit of chip on them. Yeah, knock would have been good. I'm going to double out to Zam here. And again, I'm going to attempt to go in with Zam. Though they should be, they don't have to be Scarf Eyed Dragon. They could be Scarf Eyed Dragon. I have to play aggressive though. I think I'll just lose the Volk. Why don't you move Feral Thorn when you're paralyzed? You're already slow as it is. They could just stand as well. But uh, they go out to Sazendora there. Hit on my Dazzling Gleam. Then they're going to bring out Rillaboom. The good thing is that technically, Togekiss can beat every Mon they have on their team. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can. Hell yeah. Shoot, and if they give me leftovers, I'll take it. I'm a defog, not only getting rid of the terrain so it heals them, but also so I'll miss my air slashes. Um, I couldn't really avoid that. Like, I, I could not avoid being Thunder Wave. Uh, this is where knocking their leftovers would have made it a little bit easier too. I think they're gonna heal, so I'm gonna see if I can bring out Lele here. And at least that lets me bring out my Alakazam to click Expanding Force and get the kill on them. So they could go out into... Does it matter if I kill Hydreigon even? 
Oh my god, they went hard Volcarona, huh? To take 93%. Shoot, we'll take it. I'm gonna follow it up with a Dazzling Gleam just in case. I don't know if you get two killed by Grassy Glide. I, but Woodhammer probably kills you, so I'll, I'd rather sack Crocodile than force them to Woodhammer. As they go for U-turn, and we find out their choice, man. I get a nice hefty chunk off on the Hydreigon, and uh, yeah, it'll come down to... It might actually just come down to Toenkis versus the world, because I'm fairly confident... If they would hammer here as I go Toa Kiss, um, I know I live a Grassy Glide. I know I live two Grassy Glides, but I don't live two Wood Hammers. So I have to Expanding Force. Yeah, I know I'll live this for sure. And then it comes down to if Toa Kiss um, gets full power to death, I think. But if I can break through and flinch Toa Kiss, I win. Immediate special attack drop, by the way. <laughs> Again, knocking leftovers would have made this a lot easier. Ah, one more. Okay, so let, let's let's work do things in my favor. So let's uh, let's make sure I can't miss. Besides being paralyzed, is this DPP? Why is Clefable avoiding being flinched? There's a crit. Cool. I know it's gonna recover right there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, hard Rillaboom. What? On the attack. I guess to just, what, U-turn and try and recover? I mean, if I get the crit, does it matter, though? It does give them higher odds, and plus I can miss. Come on! Come on, let's go, baby! Ah! If they didn't have leftovers, none of those flinches would have mattered anyway. Now, if they go for Woodhammer here, they'll die to Air Slash, so I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go! I don't know why they threw away Volk, but man, good game, dude. Good game. Togekiss was able to do that. I'm very happy about that. Didn't think we could come through, especially after the Paris. But damn. I got lucky there. I was able to flinch them down. Uh, let's see if we can get another one. Expanding Force, Zam, decent. I still think the, the correct play was definitely to stay in versus Rillaboom because if they did win for Woodhammer, I basically 100% lost. Uh, because they double Woodhammer, then switch out and then click Grassy Glide. At least in that uh, scenario, it gives me a little bit more. Uh, some people leave very 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 interesting sponsorship emails <laughs> i just got one that said ho 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 pokey mmd like no 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 not since high school <laughs> anyway um but yeah uh i, li I love expanding for zam i'm enjoying uh using it i think that uh psychic terrain on the oh god okay uh defogging this is not gonna help me Okay, Toekiss, attempt to air slash flinch, get red carded out, get the flinch, get into Lele, and click Spec Psychic. Yes. Red card, flinch. It <laughs> I should say crit. Why didn't I say crit? Why did I not say crit? I lose to Cartana immediately. But, um, why did I not say crit in this scenario? Well, that's cool. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. <laughs> Defog here is a try one with these guys. Slow bro can still scald burn, so why not? You got me, bro. Hopefully I scald burn Zapdos. Alright, they give me Spectre at least. Uh, had they not... Uh, they did so much damage to me. Cartada comes out. I'm gonna just knock them. Get damage off of Zam. Expanding force here. I think they brought Fini. Oh, they give me Zathos. Cool. Huh. Do I 1v1 this? 
A Psy Shock into Nasty Plot into Expanding Force. They go Garchomp. I don't let them scale shy. I go hard Lele. Awesome. <laughs> click Spec Psychic because it does the most damage as I die there. Getting you and click Expanding Force. If they switch out to Feeny, I just click Nasty Plot on that thing and ideally I 1v1 them because of that. Because of how strong my move is. But I could be wrong. Oh, there's Scarf. Damn it. But Life Orb is knocked off, so... I'm gonna take a lot from this, though. I don't think Skull killed because I got the special attack drop. Get the Expanding Force kill right here. They did 43. Which means I take that and just barely survive. Damn, it's Scarf on this build? Damn it. Oh. Well, they choked. Think. No, they did not. Does that kill me? 43. Does that kill slow bro? Because if it doesn't kill slow bro. I slack off so they die. They're gonna take an extra life orb hit here. Does that kill bro? What am I doing? Let me just count this. Life Orb does 49 to 58. If they take the two hits, I'm at 59, so they can't kill me. I let them take two hits with this, or I just click Slack Off versus them, and then they take my Psychic Terrain thing, which doesn't do anything. Okay, I'd rather them hit me here. Yeah, they take two hits. Uh, if they trick me, I just go for... I mean, I just pray to get the same roll, right? Like, the 40% roll that I got last time. I, I did not get it. All right, well, good game. I want to know how much that would have done, like, uh, from Zam on neutral. Zero HP, zero bulk. That's calm natured, so... Did they just have bulk on this thing? Oh, I'm not life orb. What am I saying? Ah, uh, so I got a, I got a low... I got 30... I literally got the 39... So unfortunately, we were not able to get oh, only 17.57 on this account. Man, unfortunately, we did not get it there. Was Trick the best play in that scenario? I think they. Oh my god, not this again. I think they smacked me without tricking. I could be wrong though. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna attempt to spike up if possible, and then smack them with. Uh... This one's hard, man. I think I'm gonna have to click Focus Blast with my with my Lele at a point. So. I, I definitely think I'm gonna have to click Focus Blast. Um, I honestly think the play is to go slow bro first though and just teleport and then get in Lele and click Focus Blast versus this. That way I can click Psychic, um, Expanding Force, and then use Psychic Terrain in the end game to click Expanding Force with that Mon and hopefully win, keeping Ferrothorn healthy. So I'm gonna do that instead. Uh, though Scald Burning, obviously Scald Burning the Ferrothorn goes a long way too. I know they're banded, so I'm just gonna knock, I'm just gonna like, take it basically. And go for Scald here. See if I can burn Azu. And then Togekiss eats that hit, so it doesn't really matter. They get to bring out Zapdos, but that doesn't do any damage to me, so it's whatever. Uh, actually, Garchomp doesn't matter in this game, so I'd rather get up rocks with Garchomp if possible. In fact, me being freed up is better, because I can knock and close combat and do things like that too. So, I'll knock Ferrothorn first. Into CC. And I can defog later if so be. And I got the chip I needed on Ozzy as well, which is pretty cool. Now just knock off after as they go out to Pelipper. This is nice, man. They give me some nice damage. As they pivot back onto Ferrothorn. Very nice pivot as well. Um, but as I mentioned before. Well, I guess with Hazard's up, it does make a difference here. I think I had Stone Edge. I showed all my moves. No, they don't kill me. I know they don't kill me with Thunder. 
I'm gonna defog first. Yep. Alright, so we get rid of all them hazards. That's fine. Click, uh, click spec psychic. Do not paralyze. Thank you for not going for hurricane. Oh, never mind. This is why they went for that. Uh, we click spec psychic. We get rid of Zapdos. Barrascuta comes out. Because psychic terrain's up, I can sax us crooked out here and get a kill with expanding force. Guaranteed. Guaranteed kill with expanding force right now. Sorry, buddy. Something is dying. And rain ends too? Ooh, so I get multiple kills. That's awesome. So this should die to expanding force and terrain. I get my revenge on... Yup. Sack this. Teleport out. That's why I didn't go Feral Thorn. That's why, I, again, I learned keep Feral Thorn as healthy as possible. Bring out Zam. They're probably going to go Ozzy this time, but they don't. So, uh, they, don't, they only have four turns, which is great too. Always slow, bro. Teleport again. Power whip you. Did I get a kill here? Bam! And we've been, we got the revenge on the rain team. Not bad. If they close combat, I have a million psychic resists, so. Play is to go bro first, just to get regen. Sack Lele, which will take two, actually. Well, which will take one. Excuse me. And then go right out to Zam, because I'm curious to see if I tank this. Plus, Scald would knock it out after, so. Zammer, expanding force. This is about to do 98%. Oh, they're adamant. Nice. Good game. All right, so we were able to get our revenge uh, versus the rain team. Uh, as I, again, that kind of, is, we took what we learned early on when we lost and luckily remembered it. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um... Some pretty good games, pretty good games. Some rolls not in our favor, some rolls in our favor as well, I think, too. Uh, the whole <laughs> shuckle thing was funny. Flinch into that. I should have said crit. If I would have said crit, it would have happened. You know, I was like, where's that power? Where's that power? And I have some power over these words. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, thank you, Gene, for the team. Guys, leaving a like, subscribing. You're helping me out. Have a fantastic holiday. And, of course, if you would like to support the channel and, you know, if you like G Fuel and you want to stock up, use code AIM. It's 30% off all the way until Monday. The link is down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.